The primary election is Tuesday, March 3rd. Two candidates are vying for the San Luis Obispo County District 1 supervisor seat, Republican incumbent John Pishong and Democrat Stephanie Shakovsky. KSBY's Brooke Martell talked to them about the most pressing issues concerning District 1. District 1 of San Luis Obispo County makes up around 650,000 acres, covering the inland areas of the northernmost portions of the county. Elected in 2016, John Pichon currently holds the supervisor's seat. This election season, he'll go up against Paso Robles resident and hydrologist Stephanie Shakovsky. If re-elected, Pichon says he's going to continue his work on the hot button issue that is the groundwater basin. And we did write a plan and it was successful because it was submitted to the Department of Water Resources in January. It's now out for public comment and I think it's going to do the, what it needs to do to be able to balance the basin. A hydrologist by trade, Shakovsky says it's also an issue she plans to tackle head on if elected. We have a groundwater basin that is in deficit. We have to really become more intelligent and we have to pull everybody together at the table to figure out our water issues and we must rely on the best data, the best science and the best um, technology. As plans for a homeless shelter continue for Paso Robles, Shakovsky wants to expand beyond that. But the chronic homeless still need a place where they can come and be safe, but they also need a lot of wraparound services. So I would be supportive of, of using county land for homeless shelter for chronic homeless who need support services for detox and transition into to permanent housing. Pashan says it's the number one issue in his district, and it's one he wants to see through. Uh, we did get some homeless emergency uh, program money from the state. That money is going to be coming to the city of Paso Robles. They're going to be working with the Echo Homeless Shelter to build a first step shelter that allow people to hopefully get out, get into detox, get into rehab, and become productive members of society again. So that's what we're driving at. Cannabis also remains a hot topic, and Pashan says the Board of Supervisors is regulating it. What we did as a Board of Supervisors is that the, the, the companies that want to grow, the family farm that want to continue to grow, they cannot grow it on anything other than agricultural property or rural lands. So it will stay out of residential neighborhoods. But Shakovsky says that's not good enough and wants the county to rewrite the ordinance to create industrial areas for cannabis grows. If I'm elected, I'm happy to sit down with the cannabis industry and figure out a path forward that gives them clarity and certainty, but also adds protection to existing neighborhoods and, and family homes. I'm Brooke Martell, KSBY News. To see what the candidates have to say about affordable housing and their other initiatives, find this story at KSBY.com.